Oh, hey, oh, there we are. Oh, just uh, enjoying some little beatboxing there. Let's let's get over to the show. It's the opening, jizz, j- you know, jazz kind of segment there. Let's let's get this going on, and let's pop on over to say hello when it actually lets me. I'm here. I'm here. Hello. How are we all doing? Welcome to RSG OTC. Solo, baby. We are solo. My co-host had something come up. So, let's get into some stuff. All right. So, for right now, let's talk about some of the things before we get to the main topic, which we know we saw from the title. It's going to be about the Epic Game Store. So, let's get into what is going on. So, what is going on right now is going to be a... uh, a skater, uh, well, something that I'm going to look at right here is Skater XL. Uh, we'll also talk about a couple other games that I've I've been interested in, but uh, Skater XL, okay, is a realistic skateboarding sim, and it should be coming out December 19th, getting pretty close, and to early access, and I know, things are getting scary with uh, early access, but you know what, I gotta wonder, why do these skate, skate and, and snowboard like games and things like that always have like the lamest lamest names is it just me Do they, th- why is it the lamest names that you could possibly have um so uh let me turn this up a little bit uh, there we go Let's do that all right can you hear me a little better okay hopefully you can hear me a little better there we go yes all right all right there we go all right so uh, we'll explain all this. This will come up a little later. Uh, so, Skater XL is a realistic simulation style skateboarding sim. Apparently, it's going to be coming out December nineteenth. Let's see if we can find something on it real quick. Uh, which way was that go? All right. So you can see me talking to myself there. There we are, looking right onto the stream as you see it. Uh, but we want to go to Skater XL. And that's where we're going to go to images. Okay, as uh, we'll go through some of these here. So, let's see. This is a gameplay footage of some sort. And um, let's pull up a window to open the image in a new tab. So we can then give you a full view of it by not doing that, but by doing this. Okay, so there we go. Um, it's it's looking pretty good. I'm not gonna say I'm blown away by it, but it's it's looking pretty good. Um. I would definitely say it's getting in that like sim kind of uh, look thing going on here with the, um, uh, I guess like the plant and foli- foliage and things like that. Um, I'm not like I do love like I see the trucks there they're bending like crazy just like real life would have. I'm curious to see some things. This is really there's not tons of footage that I'm seeing and I don't really want to pull up a video of it. Um, but I'm intrigued. I'm, I'm, I'd be happy to get another, a nice, a nice skate video in, uh, or a skate game in. That'd be, that'd be pretty nice. Now, this, there's, there's a couple others that I was looking at, too, which was, uh, you know, there's some free, there's some free fishing, a free fishing game, and, uh, something else I'm trying to think of. It's a free fishing game, and there's also The Hunter, which is a hunting game, as you can imagine. And that's also free as well. So I want to check those out. You know, I'm noticing a lot of free games are coming along. And I'm curious of what they really are free giving and then what is not exactly free. You know, like, I, I, that's what I really want to know is what's ex- not exactly free in those. You know, all these games that I'm seeing come out free. But I'm curious how much Skater XL will cost as an early access. Because these early access games are getting kind of scary, to be honest with you. Um, 
you know, but I'm I'm curious to check that out. Skater XL looks like something I'd be into. Uh, a little bit, you know, it's, it's been years. Remember playing Tony Hawk? Tony Hawk was like, that was really, you know, prime time, uh, back in the day. So, uh, getting that, now that we're talking about games here, uh, let me, good. Uh, let's, I had to buy this at micro center. We have balls, throw some balls in your mouth. Good taste, good taste. I think I finished all the ginger ale. Um, okay, so uh, let's get on uh, to the next game I want to talk about, and it's a game that we touched on the last time we did have an episode. It was away. Um, now I'm I'm gonna point out that the main topic of this episode that you saw in the title, I will touch on it today, but I feel I, I could touch on it a lot more when I have my co-host, and we will do that next week. But, for right now, we're talking about Elder Scrolls 6. They teased at an E3. I forget the name of the game that's supposed to come out before it, but that'll bring into my explanation, I guess. So, uh, Elder Scrolls 6, at first I was very upset that they were going to use the Fallout 4 engine, but apparently they have fixed the issue of the frame rate controlling the uh, you know speed of the game and all that okay being tied to the, the the game apparently they fixed that apparently they did I don't know for sure I'm pretty sure they did though because uh, I I remember looking it up but I feel stupid that I forgot to look it up now I guess I always could look it up now and I'm not gonna have you all looking at that well that'd be annoying um, is the Fallout 4 frame issue fixed? Okay. Um, uh, nope. Uh, the, the frame rate issue. Uh, let me look again. Uh, frame rate. Linked to speed. Uh, the frame rate in Fallout 4 affects game speed. As it turns out, it's the exact same issue that happens in Skyrim and many other games. Uh, namely, the higher your frame rate, the faster the game runs. I thought that they fixed that, though. Apparently, they didn't. And that really bugs the living shit out of me. Okay, I'm just going to point that out. It bugs the living shit out of me. That they didn't. Um, it, really, it really is very annoying that they didn't fix it. I really thought they fixed that, so I'm, I'm wrong on there. Uh, so let's just keep it at Elder Scrolls 6. It's still going to be crap if they don't fix that frame rate shit. Uh, that's, that's garbage. Um, but here's the real problem, though. It's five or six years away. That means it's going to be 12 to 13 years. Think of that. 12 to 13 years before we've gotten to see a new Elder Scrolls. They remastered Skyrim. Skyrim's been beaten to death so damn much. Been put on every system, console, and... Anything you could imagine. I'm surprised we're not playing it on our damn phones at this point. Okay? And I, I, I love Elder Scrolls as much as the next person that, that's into Elder Scrolls. But I just can't take it anymore. I can't. I, you know, the, the company just doing... They're, they're, they're pissing me off. And I just can't believe that they would keep us waiting... For 13, 12 to 13 years. Apparently there's some game that's supposed to, that it's not releasing until some other game. I can't remember the name of the game. I forget where I had to look that up. But uh, it was over a lot of things that I watched. And um, there's a game that's going to be coming out before it. Oh, I remember what it was. I was reading about an older woman who plays Let's Plays on... Skyrim online she's like 80 some odd years old and 
when they found out, and when basically everyone found out in her how long it was going to be until we got an Elder Scrolls game again, by finding out that it was going to be another six, five to six years, knowing she she feels that she's either not going to be able to play the game because of motor skills, or she will be dead. And uh, there's a petition to get her put into the game for the next Elder Scrolls. To just have her as a character in the game. And I'm down with that. I'm totally down with that. But it's... I know sad for her as well. I, I don't think she was very excited about that. Because it's just absolutely insane that you're going to make us all wait that long. For a game that, frankly, as much as I love Elder Scrolls, I'll probably lose interest in Elder Scrolls by that point. In all honesty, in all in all sheer honesty, um, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll probably lose interest in Elder Scrolls. I mean, I love Elder Scrolls, but for one in six years, what the hell's that engine engines shit? Uh, but I. It's just like, I think they were pushing it already. I don't know. I, I find games that, that push out that far. I think SimCity was 13 years later. Look how good that game was. Yeah. So, um, yeah, that with SimCity is a, is a good example. At least these games that take an over, like, Grand Theft Autos don't take that many years in between. Red Dead Redemption didn't take that many years in between. But you're going to take that many years in between with an Elder Scrolls? Fallout didn't take that many years in between. That's, you know, they had Fallout 3, Fallout New Vegas. Then they came out with Fallout 4. Now they're coming out with Fallout 76. But Elder Scrolls like, yeah, you got Skyrim. Hey, look, now you got Elder Scrolls Online. No, 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 that's bullshit. And you know it. It's not even the same freaking team making the shit. Get out of here with that. Okay? So, it just got... It, it's just getting worse. Okay? You know, for for Skyrim, for, for Elder Scrolls. They're just not, not even touching it. And it, that's what it feels like to me. And it pisses me off. Like I said, I, I'm probably going to lose interest in the five, six years it takes to come out. So stupid. All right, well, <clears throat> let's go on to the next point here. I'm pretty sure it's pretty obvious. Uh, all this crap around me that was not here before. So I always had the blue snowball. Well, not always, but I had the blue snowball. But I did not have this windscreen that's needed because i bought my head into this although now with it at its new orientation i don't feel i'd be doing this too much problems anymore but the good thing is is i can have it up here and everyone should still be able to hear me fine at least i'm hoping so but even if i have it down a little bit you know people should still be able to hear me fine and if not i could turn it up and then people should be able to hear me even better oh wait is it the other way i think it's the other way Okay, so people should be able to hear me even better if I go this way. And, uh, you know, overall it's out of the way of the screen, but this is a pile. Uh, I won't say it's a pile of shit, but it's not a pile of excellence either. It's nice for the $30 it was, and I could definitely recommend it to many. Uh... This part does not hold... I'm going to do a full review on this, but this part up here doesn't hold that well. I mean, it's it's kind of... It's not so bad right now. It's, it, you know, it's almost like it gets a little... Oh, see, you can see it there. It just went to fall, like so. As I... Uh, it's not so bad. It, it's like a weird... It, it, the, the less you touch it, if it'll like it almost stiffens up a little bit. But this, it just has a hard time holding it a little bit. You know, with all this shock mount on there. And the shock mount really helps. I mean, I could tap this. And you're just really hearing the springs. Like, see, shaking it and hitting it. 
and it's not really transferring through tons of sound so it's really nice to have that shock mount going on here I'm digging that a lot I gotta find some allen keys so I can tighten that up I don't like how loose that is um, it did come with a big XLR cable through it I ripped that shit out just uh, had to go um, no need for it I don't know why companies do that just don't you know what they they do it to make you think that you're getting something better but you're really not now I read reviews saying you know they didn't really like the shock mount because oh it felt plastic here this thing is all metal and the the actual screw point feels good and it feels really sturdy so I can't say anything bad about this shock mount um, this windscreen actually I can say bad things about it uh, here is the one the other color that it came with which is a baby blue and I, at first I was gonna get that I was gonna put it on but I should have gotten just like a blue uh, like straight up blue instead of baby blue but the main problem I have is the crease it's very creased you know I don't like that it's very very creased because they kept it packaged up but if I turn it inside out it doesn't look good on this one but on this one it does you can't see it doesn't look all cut out and stuff but on this here it, um, maybe if I leave it out for a day it'll not have the problem but I didn't like how that was creased so that's really annoying um, what else came in oh that's right so there's somewhere here uh, uh, can't find them. Uh, can't find them. Okay. Well, I guess anyways, they're somewhere here. But as you are seeing, I did have a pair of Sennheisers that I was constantly using before. And where they are not bad, and I'm sure they'd be great with an amp, and I'm not going to get rid of them, because they can really thump. So we're not going to get rid of those. But, they are in no way anywhere near as comfortable and as light as these damn Sonys are. And these Sonys kind of let in sound pretty good. To a point where I can, I mean, it's not like having them off, but if someone was calling my name, I'd hear them pretty good. Whereas when I had these on, where if I have these on, the sound is kind of deadened, and I feel like I'm like really held in it. It's like, you know, I can, I, I, I more hear myself talking to myself. Where here, I find with these that I'm more hearing myself in the room and it, you know if someone was calling my name I'd hear it but they man they sound amazing I bought these velour ear pads too from wicked ear cups I think or something like that or w wicked ear pads uh, really nice they were like 20 bucks but man these are some pristine quality really nice quality ear pads not even gonna lie I mean look at that these are just, and it's velour. Velour just feels so good. It's kind of like a suede microfiber-y kind of feel. It's really nice, really nice. I love when uh, the chair I'm going to tell you about that I ordered, when people say it's microfoam, my, um, my, what is it, memory foam, and they're like, with some kind of suede-like pillow, it's the softest thing I've ever touched. Okay, so that leads me on to, uh, other than these headphones, because I do love these headphones, and they're incredibly light and feel amazing on my head, which was a big problem with the sore spot. Now I don't get that. It feels just absolutely outstanding. So let's talk about the chair. I got a new chair coming. That's right, people. And I think I've got a picture of that here. Um, there it is. That is right, people. The Secret Labs Titan. Uh-huh, uh-huh, 
Aha. Uh -huh. Let's see here. Secret Labs Titan. Secret Labs Titan. Okay, so images. Okay, uh, I'll show you an image of this right now. Uh, better than the one that they had. Oh, no, I didn't want... No, oh, can, can... Open image, a new tab, there we go. Okay, so... <laughs> yeah, this is the one I got, you know. It's a bad resolution. Um, but, you know, uh, yeah, this is it. Uh-huh, 100%. That's the one. The, it's the Giga Chair 9000 uh, Mega Quadcopter. Doesn't even make any sense. Um, okay, no, now you see my Bugs Bunny stuff that I was looking at. Okay, so... Secret Labs, where is what I'm looking for, though? Uh, so let's look at image in new image in new tab. There we go. The image in the new tab. Uh, there, there. Okay. So here we are. We can go like this like that okay boom so as you see here it's got the red and black stitch it's the red and black kind of theme going on with the gold lettering t for trevor you know how it is that's that microfiber uh or uh kind of soft feeling suede as they call it which is actually velour if they knew what the hell they're doing and that's why it feels so damn good but there's memory foam inside the velour this is a 400 dollars chair normally 500 that is a tension uh, tensioner right there for um, for your uh, lumbar adjustment. So that's your lumbar adjustment. And uh, you can move these all around and you can pull this. I'll have a whole review on that. But I need a new chair. It's real serious that I had a new chair. So I needed a new chair. I did at one point even have a donation little thing up there for a new chair. But, you know, we just, you know, didn't. I was just... Uh, like, you know what, no, I just need to get a new chair, and we're just going to get it. Uh, as much as people talk down about gaming chairs, I'll tell you what. I sat in a couple, and no, I'm not going to call them crap. They, they're they are great. It depends on what kind you get, and I think this is perfect up my alley. It's like the number one rated. Uh, their Omega is technically number one rated because of the price, and more people would typically use it. But... Uh, you know, being 320 and this is being, this is 389. So anyways, uh, let's, uh, let's go on to the final thing here. See if I can find it. So, uh, here we are. But yeah, I can't wait to get that. We'll have a full, I'm going to be streaming the unboxing of that. So that's going to be good. And you see it. Let's do this. So. Wait, no way. Two free games every two weeks. I'm getting Epic Games right now. Subnautica? I can have Subnautica for free? I didn't even know this. Well, I guess it's time to jump on it. And that's what leads us into the... <laughs> the top of the time news hour. No, it's not really a news hour. It's the top of the time news. That's what we're going to do. We need to create segments for this. And it's the top of the time news. That's what we're going to do. TTN news. No, I just screwed it up. TTN. Top of the time. All right, Steam has a new competitor. I mean, we've seen Epic Games before, but now Epic Games has a store. And let me tell you, <laughs> damn, are they competing like a son of a bitch with Steam. 
Wowza. They are definitely competing with Steam, man. Whoo. So, Steam takes about 30%. I think they just upped how much the, the developers get. But they usually took 30% and the, and the developer got 70%. And, uh, you know, developers cried and cried and cried. So, they gave more. Now, Epic Games says, comes in, said, <laughs> Blam, get out of here. Eh, eh, you know, we'll take 12%, baby. And you can have 88%. And you know what? We're going to give you two free game we're gonna give you two free games a month we're gonna give you one every two weeks how do you like that you like that shit yeah put that in your pipe and smoke it and that's what they did and they're blowing that smoke right in steam's face matter of fact they locked the door and they're blowing it underneath the door matter of fact they even hooked it up to a leaf blower i think and they're just lighting up a whole stash and getting them real up in there because they just totally smoked them out i think they just wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Uh, unless Steam comes out and does something to to combat, I mean, I don't think they're going to be able to. Look, Subnautica, you're going to give me a free Subnautica? Super Meat Boy, I don't know what Super Meat Boy is. Um, I don't know, it sounds a little, sounds a little meaty. Uh, but, I mean, still, I'll take Subnautica for free. You're going to get, like... Hell, I've never gotten a free game from Steam. Never. I don't remember ever getting a free game from Steam. Uh, other than for the uh, the ones that are given free. Um, what is Super Meat Boy? I don't know. I don't know. But I'm going to have to get Epic Games. We're going to have to get Epic Games. Anyways... Super Meat Boy, okay, and Subnautica are free right now, and they're going to give you another <laughs> new phone, who this, um, and I just, I don't know, this is going to be tough, because AAA games are running away from Steam, and all Steam really gives is they give that, you know, free-to-play weekend, oh, thanks, I could try out a game and then they'll buy it, I mean, here's the thing, though, here's the thing, how long will 12 and 88% stay on Epic Games? You have to think of that as, as anyone. Um, <laughs> uh, oh. Wow. Wow. Someone just showed me in the chat that something I've seen for absolutely ages as an emote is Super Meat Boy. I guess I'm going to have to play Super Meat Boy since Epic Games is giving it for free. Guess you're going to have to jump on the ball with it there, Steam, because guess what? You're getting steamed the hell out. They're coming in like Stanley Steamer and putting you in a carpet. All right? So let me tell you, you need to do something, Steam, because <laughs> Epic Games is coming to roll you down a hill. Okay? So, um, the, the, you know... AAA games been leaving Steam because of this. All right, so that's that's a thing, and they're gonna be going to the Epic Store, getting eighty eight percent and having that all over there. You know, people are like, well, I love having all my games in one spot. Hey, you know what? I do too, and I'm sure there's a couple games, but I don't remember exactly where they are. Um, you know, I I don't know exactly where they are. I I like Steam. Steam's a great platform. Um, it is going to be hard to take them on. Like, you know, I have someone in my chat saying it is going to be hard to take them on. I'm not going to lie. And like I said, we're going to touch more on this when I have a co-host on next week because I want to see what their take is on it. And it's just, I don't see this going as well as, as I, don't, I, don't, I, I see this going very well for Epic and really not well for Steam. And, uh. And I have someone sitting here going, EA tried for years. Yes, but EA is also shit. And they would constantly give you shit as your free game. Um, so, you can't really pull in EA. I mean, and they only really had EA. Epic Games is, I think, taking on Steam in a more 
like Broadway, and they, like Subnautica is not. I don't think it, it. I don't. Is Subnautica an Epic game? Like from Epic Games, or let me see. Unreal Tournament is Epic Games. Oh, no, see, like, so. Who makes some of these? It doesn't tell me who. Yeah, so, like, Tiny Build and Epic Games. and So, there's more coming, though. Subnautica coming soon. Okay. And I don't know who who makes it. Uh, Unknown Worlds Entertainment. That's not Epic Games. You know? Yeah, exactly. So, like... It's not just going to be epic games. It's going to be a lot of real shit. You know, a lot of other stuff. And I just find that if you have someone who can take on Steam and give developers more money and give the end user free games, two free games a month, or what is it, uh... A free game every yeah, a free game every week or every two weeks. So you're gonna give people two free games a month. That's that's a pretty solid stab at and stab at the other competitor. Gonna say that. You know, it really is. So they they've really they really they've really done what what I think is a smart move. They're gonna capitalize on it and. Unless Steam makes a good move, they're not going to really lose people because people have all their games, like they have tons of games on it. But they're going to definitely have people caring more about maybe checking out this all the time for game sales. Uh, Steam does have some game sales, but like they're okay. Sometimes they're great, but a lot of times they're just okay. So we'll see how this goes. Um... But it's almost Christmas. Steam sales. Cough. Yes. It is. So. So what? They're they're launching a store. It's a digital store. There's no employees working there. They set it up. They already have people that can set shit up like this. It's nothing that's going to hurt them at all. Everyone knows about a Steam sale. Okay. But. It's making a huge wave in the industry. It's making an absolutely huge wave in the industry right now. And giving as much to the developers, because you have to understand, a lot of AAA games are leaving Steam because of the 30% that Steam was taking. And and Steam caved in and gave less, or took less in, but it's still more than Epic Games doing or 12%. Now, that's where I have to wonder, how long are they going to, are they going to keep always giving away two games every, uh, every, uh, uh, every month, are they going to continue to keep at 12% and 88 Is it a sustainable business model? I have no idea, and we'll have to see when that time comes. But uh, I think that really wraps up every, anything I could say for um, for the Epic uh, you know, Games taking on Steam. I think it's a good move, and I'm, I want to see what comes out of it. I'm always in for competition, and, uh, you know... I, it's just like when, when NVIDIA people want AMD to fail, it's like, nah, you're a moron. You should really want them to do really, really good. So then NVIDIA has to go, shit, I got to lower my prices and meet their prices if I, if they're going to have similar quality. You know? Um, and it's the same thing with CPUs. If, this, if, if AMD has badass CPUs for less price than Intel, and Intel's going to have to go, well, shit, you know, we might have to dip down on our prices a bit. And if you can get companies to do that, then you're really good. I mean, that's a really awesome thing to do. If you get companies to start, you know, having that battle, it's always good to have competition. Truly is. But that wraps it up here. Um, I'm done for the night as far as the show goes. I don't have anything else going on that uh, that I can bring up now, so... Um, yeah, I think, um, I think we're just going to call it. I don't have a host this week. Thanks for sticking by. And, um, let's see, one o'clock. I got to think. I got to think, can I do 11 to, and then have to be up by 40. 
So, no, we're not going to stream tonight. I was thinking about it, but we're going to do it tomorrow. We're going to stream tomorrow some games, and we'll get to use more of this. And uh, eventually, this time, sometime this week, I will have my new chair, and we'll do a live stream of me setting up the chair right in here. So, thanks all for coming out, and we'll see you next week, 10 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, here for RSG OTC. Peace out, all. We'll see you next time.